I'd rather sing these songs and drink a double alone than go one more round with you. Uh, okay, you, you, you're always welcome to go one more round with us. <laughs> So I just want to tell our viewers, welcome to the show, Keith Burns of Trick Pony. Yes, ma'am. Mary, right. I love being here. It's good to see you again. It feels like forever. It does, doesn't <laughs> it? It's just been a couple of days. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I've been good. I've been good. 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 Yeah. yeah. How about yourself? Oh, man. If I was any better, I'd be twins. Uh, All right. Right. Just Perfect. enjoying it, enjoying this amazing North Dakota weather. Mm -hmm. It's been sensational. We had a huge weekend. Ask yeah. me about my weekend. Well, that's just it. You know, when we had you on last week with John Schneider, yep. um, Bo Duke of Dukes of Hazard, uh, for those that w didn't get to watch the show, um, you guys were up here for a specific cause. Tell us about that. Um, yeah, I got a real good buddy up here, my North Dakota buddies. I, this is North Dakota, uh, especially the Mandan Bismarck area is kind of my second home, and I've got a, a real good buddy of mine, Sean and his wife, Toby, and they've, ha they've got a daughter, and uh, she has a special kind of uh, disease. It's very rare. Uh, she epileptic seizures, and she, mm -hmm. there's no cure for it, and it's obviously very time-consuming and very expensive, and so uh, she's got a, a Facebook account. It's Adeline's Bee Leavers. Adeline's Bee. I think we have that. Let's pull it you up. You got that pulled up? There, that oh, is look her at that. mission right there. There it is. Right. Adeline, what a beautiful name. Right. And a beautiful way to spell it, too. It's just not... Adeline. Adeline. Yeah, but she was out at the racetrack, and uh, um, Sean brought John Snyder and myself up and Cody McCarver uh, for a huge weekend of, of just basically getting this thing off the ground for a yearly event to show, you know, to... Everybody push behind her, and and you know, you know how it is. First year, you just get you want to get make sure everybody is aware. Mm -hmm. They yes. become aware right. first, and then then you start building on that. So that's I thought it's fantastic. You know. You know, I was there, and I I found it surprisingly good yeah. that there were that many people there because this was a big weekend just in our area. You know, there's only so many nice days in the summer, but we had the street fair in, or not the street fair, Buggies and Blues in Mandan. Right. We had Johnny Holmes up on the hill. We had another concert that you guys presented out at, um, at the uh, Speedway. And then, of course, they had the bike rally out in Minocan Grove. Yeah. And so four events. And many, many, many people came just to see you and John mm -hmm. for Adeline's cause. I think that's wonderful. Well, it, it, that's a, exactly. It, it was wonderful. And God blessed us with some beautiful weather all weekend long. And mm -hmm. it seems like we never stopped. You know, yeah. uh, Bonnie's up here. My wife's from Mandan area. And uh, it's where I met her. And it's, it's uh, she was doing merch and running around. And I was running. It, it was just a big weekend. And I uh, can't look forward to doing it again. Oh, great. That's that's great. And I, I think we could, we have the link to Adeline's page. There's a link? Yes, there's a link that you can donate. Um, oh. <laughs> but it's on the Facebook page, so you can just hit the donate button if you want to go ahead and donate to Miss Adeline. Yes. How old is she? Uh, she's seven years old. Seven. Yes, she's seven years old. And, and I am up here. I've got a show on the... Uh, 25th at the drink, uh, me and I, my, my guitar players flying up from Nashville for that. And then I got my full band flying up uh, from Nashville on July the 2nd at uh, the Mariner's house. Oh, I yes. don't know if y'all wow. know Mariner's. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing a show. I'm opening up for Confederate Railroad. And then the next night's going to be the Bellamy Brothers. So we're here all the way through that. And also, just not you know, on the Adeline's Believers, I'm going to at least do one show where I do a pop-up show just for her. Oh, where, where people can raise money for that nice. event. Just, oh, that's beautiful. You yeah. know, I love to organize things. I would be more than happy to help organize like a silent auction or just a live auction type thing. Sure thing. Because people, you know, you come to one of these events to hear music and you pay the fee to get in. But when it comes to like fundraising, a silent auction is, it just, it just makes a lot of money. Yeah. So if anyone wants to go ahead and donate to that cause, we'll just, we'll get something figured out. We're just flying by the seat of our pants right now, but we'll oh, yeah. get something yeah. figured out. Well, the good news about a pop-up show is it's just me and this right here. Yeah. And if there's any other musicians in town that want to come join me, good for you. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's it just boom, and it could be anywhere, and, you know, two or three days notice, and we'll do it. 
Okay, so how, oh, go no, ahead. No, I just had a quick question. So for those that aren't familiar, your full band's name is now Trick Pony. still Trick Pony. Yeah, keep because, Trick Pony. Because there, there are people out there. We had a, a young man that just got elected um, <laughs> to to move on for the uh, house. house this fall. He's eighteen. And he, he just graduated from high school, and we we told him all about you, and he said Trick Pony. <laughs> so they're not from our era where we know this band. So I'm just. Tell well, people they you need know, to we, yeah, research this and, and find out how wonderful the, yeah. the music yeah. is. Yeah, exactly. yeah, there were three three members of Trick Pony. I was the founding member. I'm the one that put it together. And then so, uh, you know, uh, my my other buddy, Ira, he's doing, sh you know, he's writing songs and stuff. And then Heidi's doing her thing. But but I am the original member and, and the one that's going out doing the show. So Why Trick Pony? Trick Pony? Well, we had a name called Rebel. And uh, which there's the red light. Hey, hey <laughs> how you doing, North Dakota? <laughs> Welcome to BEK <laughs> or BKB, whichever one you want to say. <laughs> but uh, well, the original band was Rebel, and the record label, when we got signed, wanted to change it because there were a lot of bands out there named Rebel, and they said you're going to get sued, like Blackhawk. The sure. name ba the, bla the band Blackhawk mm -hmm. got sued, and uh, so. I said, well, how about One Trick Pony? It's an old Paul Simon movie. Yeah. And I said, we kind of like that. We roll into town, do our one thing we do, and roll out of town. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, no, there's three of you. So let's just, just drop the one and call it Trick Pony. There you go. And there oh, you were. Yeah, there yeah. you are. And here wow. it is, 20 something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 20 something years later. Oh, my gosh. And just tell us, give give our viewers maybe a couple of, you know, big songs that you've had where they can go out and Google it and get into this music. Oh well, we had uh, we had uh, "Poor Me," which uh, we wrote uh, in my old house. I like to say this: we wrote "Poor Me" in my old house, my ex-wife's new house. I always say that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had Just What I Do was nominated for a Grammy. I wrote that with Ira also, and I sang that, and it was nominated for a Grammy. And uh, I've had countless songs that I've written. Of course, I wrote a lot for Trick Pony, but I've had songs cut by Joe Diffie and uh, Hootie and the Blowfish, uh, just, you know, all down the board. Sammy Kershaw for all you country oh, music fans out yes. there. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I've, I've been very, very blessed. Well, and when you were here over the weekend with John up on stage, he was talking about a song that you wrote that he, you sang with him up on stage, right? Didn't you write that? Yeah, yeah. well, several. Yeah. Which, one, which one? Well, <laughs> tell us about it. I don't know. It's, which could, one do you want one, to tell us about it? Could it could be one of five. Well, oh, there's John. Yay! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I think we have. We uh, I wrote this one. Cowboys don't get old. Cowboys never change. When the crow's feet show, they still look the same. And I wrote this one. Uh, Tired eyes, bright lights, and long nights. Sun on a seven day run, John Wayne of the open road. That was nice. really good and so uh, appropriate for this weekend with it being the truck rally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That absolutely. You know, uh, I literally wrote that with John, and uh, you know, we wrote it for the truckers. And and because uh, uh, I, I remember exactly when, when I came up with the idea for it and, and we were going to do it was when the pandemic first hit. It first hit and uh, it was just like everybody shut down. Every, the world shut down except the truckers. And I've got mm -hmm. several dear friends that I graduated and, and grew this high. Knee high to a grasshopper. Yeah, you ever heard yeah, that? Yes, yeah, yeah. uh, sir. One of them good old, I guess they said up here too. <laughs> but um, they, I got several of them that are, have done trucking all their life. All their life, from like from overnight to whatever JB Hunt, to, they just all. Right. And man, I just said, you know what? They're the only people. Truckers are the only ones out there that haven't shut down, and they're still bringing it to the table every mm -hmm. single day. And so I wrote that song. Me and John did, and awesome. uh, it was on his album. You can get that album too for the very small price of whatever it is. <laughs> all right, well. go to John Snyder Studios and pick it up. <laughs>